Welcome to iLecture Online. Here we're going to do a quick review of how the initial conditions of an oscillating system affect the equation you will pick to describe the position as a function of time. So here we have five situations. The first situation is that when time equals zero, and of course all of these represent when time equals zero, so we probably should put that on there. And in the first case, when time equals zero, the object is at maximum distance away from the equilibrium point to the right. In the second case, it's right going through the equilibrium point at some velocity. In the third case, it's moving through the equilibrium point with velocity to the left. The fourth case is when the object is at the maximum distance to the left from the equilibrium point, velocity equals zero at that point. And the last case is where it moved past the equilibrium point, it's, it's slowing down, it's still moving to the right, but it hasn't quite reached its maximum amplitude yet. So the first equation you use a times the cosine of omega t, because when time equals zero, x is the maximum value it can be, so that's what you get over here. In the second case, we use a sine of omega t, because at that moment it is zero, the value for x equals zero at time equals zero, so that gives you the sine function. If it's moving to the left, notice that it's going to go negative as time moves on from time equals zero. That means you start at x equals zero, but then you move in the negative direction, so you need the negative a sine omega t function. Finally, let's say you're at the very farthest point to the left, velocity equals zero, you're ready to start moving to the left, your, your position is at the maximum negative amplitude, so you start over here, which means you need the negative a cosine of omega function, and finally, when you're moving to the right, you're past the equilibrium point. At time equals zero, you're in this position right here. That means you are some distance away from reaching your maximum value. So you haven't quite reached your maximum value yet. So you take the cosine function and you shift it to the right by the phase angle, as we call it. And so therefore, the equation becomes a cosine of omega t, which is this equation, minus the phase angle because it's moved to the right by the phase angle. And so here you have five examples of what equation to use depending upon what your initial condition is. And that is how it's done.